Welcome to the Diabetic Foot Exam video. The goal of this video is to help you to become more comfortable with the steps involved in performing a proper diabetic foot exam. We also would like for you to be able to counsel a patient on general diabetic foot care. Begin your exam by simply gathering information. Hi, I'm the pharmacist who will be performing your foot exam. To begin, I have a few questions for you. Have you ever had any previous foot problems? Peripheral vascular symptoms or impaired vision? No. Do you smoke? I do not. Uh, what is your daily foot care routine? Normally I just wash my feet every day. Okay. Now, begin your foot inspection. Now I need for you to please remove both your shoes and your socks. The purpose of this exam is to assess, assess for and prevent any possible long-term complications that can result from uncontrolled diabetes. For instance, loss of feeling in your extremities, particularly your feet, is a major concern. Therefore, it's important that you have a monofilament test completed by a healthcare professional annually. You should also complete a daily self-check at home to avoid long-term complications. It may also be beneficial for you to have your feet examined at each doctor's visit. Now I'm going to begin to inspect your feet. Loss of sensation or feeling and slow healing due to diabetes can cause foot problems to become severe. Look for any cuts, signs of ulceration, corns, calluses, pressure points, redness, swelling, warmth, dryness, maceration, or any obvious deformities. It is important to even look between the toes. Also evaluate the toenails, looking for toenails that are ingrown or that are too long, as well as increased thickness and discoloration of the nails. If any abnormalities are present, this should be noted on your diabetic foot screen form. Next, you will perform monofilament testing. Explain the monofilament procedure to the patient. It is key to demonstrate it first on their hand. This is the monofilament tool that we'll be using during your exam. As you can see, it doesn't hurt, so don't be afraid. Okay. All right, so now that your foot is up on my knee, I'd just like for you to close your eyes and just let me know whenever you feel it touching the bottom of your foot. Okay. It is important for them to inform you because if you ask when they feel it, this may result in a false response. You will then perform a 10-point monofilament exam. Be sure to touch each point depicted on the diagram provided on your diabetic foot screen form. Apply the monofilament to the foot perpendicularly and push until it is slightly bent. Hold for about one and a half seconds on each spot. Do not apply to ulcers or calluses. Draw a plus sign in the areas where the patient indicated feeling the monofilament and a minus sign in the areas where the monofilament was used but the patient did not indicate feeling the touch. This will then need to be repeated on the other foot. Yes, 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 yes. Next, assess two pulses on each foot. The dorsalis pedis, which is on top of the foot, and the posterior tibialis, which is inside and behind the ankle. You will also need to assess for appropriate temperature, checking for extreme cold and hot spots. Now that you have finished your diabetic foot exam, you need to counsel your patient on proper foot care. All right, now I'd just like to discuss with you a few things that need to be added to your daily foot care self-check. Uh, examine your feet and nails at least once a day, checking for cuts, breaks, blisters, or redness. If you n notice that you've already lost some sensation in your feet, you need to wear white socks. Uh, this will just help you to see if there's any bleeding coming from the sore, even though you may, may not be able to feel it. You should also wash your feet every day like you have been doing. Just use mild soap and lukewarm water. Dry your feet completely every day with a soft cloth. Uh, never soak your feet in water unless you're otherwise told to do so by your physician. Keep a lookout for dryness and cracked skin. You can use moisturizer, but avoid getting it between your toes. Uh, also, you want to be sure to look at your toenails every day, checking for the thickness just like we do. Uh, trim them regularly, 
it, but cut straight across. Do not round them. If you're unable to cut them yourselves, you do need assistance, but just be sure that they know how to do it. Uh, finally, never go barefoot even in your home or at the beach even. Um, wear sandals, and for women, no high heels or pointed toe shoes. Also, you should make sure that you wear properly fitting shoes. Uh, you may need to break in any new pairs of shoes, but you need to do it slowly, only wearing them one to two hours at a time. At this time, welcome any questions that the patient may have. If none, this will conclude your diabetic foot exam. Any other questions from you? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, everything looked great. Thank you for coming. Thank you.